Hey, hey. Hello. Oh my day, such a bad accent. <laughs> such a bad accent, y'all. We are going to Ikea. What are we getting? More plants for our cat to kill. Sponsored by Ikea. So I left my wedding rings in the candle jar and it smells so good. Smell. Yuck. Ooh. Okay, so a lot of you guys asked for an outfit, like what I wear in a week. I guess I'll start today. Um, I'm not, let me just say this outright. I don't consider myself like a fashion person. I just wear what I feel comfortable in and I guess what I like and I you my closet is literally the size of like in short I have like five four sweaters three shirts two pants and two jackets or three jackets that I wear so <laughs> no honestly mashallah like do you think I have a huge like wardrobe I don't uh, compared to me you do yeah but you don't have anything that's not my problem <laughs> donate one pound today <laughs> He's a liar, okay? I don't have that many things, and I recycle the same outfits over and over again. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that will help you clear out the things that you don't need and use the stuff that you do. Long story short, let me show you my outfit. So today I have a trench on. This is just like a trench I got at ASOS. It's the most comfortable, cutest trench I've ever seen. Very affordable. I was so pissed because when I got this trench, um, it went on sale a week later. I kind of have it off the shoulder and I have the buttons on. I'm wearing like a sports sweater um, by Adidas. It's like a little crop sweater and it's longer on the back. I layered it with a dress shirt that I bought from Forever 21 like seven years ago. And then I have these pants I got, I got from Zara. These pants are so comfy. It feels like I'm wearing baby clothes. Seriously. Um, that's my outfit. I'm wearing... A jacket I got from ASOS for him, but That's you need right. a lint roller. There's a lot of lint on there. Yeah, I'll no. take care of that. Oh, I love it. And then I got... You got a sweater. Got a sweater, black jeans. You're dressed very cash today. Very cash. Sunday. Sunday mood. Cash yeah, mood. But still handsome. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, squeeze it! Oh, oh. Squeeze! Oh. I'm gonna do an office tour when I clean. How cute is this mirror? Yeah. Okay. What you, you wearing? Should I get the feet? Yeah, you should get the feet. Pull, I gotta pull my pants down. Put the pants down. Put the pants These down. pants are normal length pants. I'm 5'11". My makeup is really nice. I, I did it. I have a nice soft blush color on my cheeks. I have some lashes on. These ones are from Berry Lashes. And, uh, wait for it. I like it. I'm wearing this belt bag. I like my it. my trench. Um, just because... I don't like big bags anymore. This is what I like to wear, small bags. A little armor. Uh, <laughs> I went to a styling session with uh, Bella, and she said that small bags can make you look larger. I'm willing to take that risk. You said this little cactus mirror is. <laughs> it's actually so cute. It's just funny to me. I wouldn't get it, but you know. Skin is looking really good in this lighting. What is this? I need to get this for my house. Um, we're in Home Sense right now, looking for a mirror. I'll do it here. I really like this mirror. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like this mirror. It's minimal, simple. I was gonna get it last time, but it's like chipped up a little. And you know, usually when things are like a little chipped up, you can get a better deal. So like you try to like, just like listen, it's damaged, give me 20% off. For some reason, this specific lo location, they're so cheap. They just don't want to give you a deal. I look super yellow though. Come on. We're not getting that. We are not getting that. You look like the, you look like the cactus mirror. <laughs> I am obsessed with these bar stools. How cute are these? Oh, I love anything wood. Super cute. You guys, I have the funniest story time. On my lunch yesterday, and I made some really yummy vegetables, like sauteed, like, basically I made like a vegetable curry, and I made um, rice, and then there was chicken, grilled chicken. So 
I packed his lunch the night before and I put it in the fridge, um, like what I usually do when I'm not being lazy. He took the lunch to work and I guess he got on the bus. He usually takes the, 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 the trains to work because it's a lot quicker for him to get to work. He realized he had the car parked up in the place where he wasn't supposed to, so he got off the bus and went to go move the car. Uh, he wants to go. Oh. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, no, no. He's such a good driver letting him in. I'm on the bus and the bus swerves and then I see it go past my car and I'm like, oh yeah, the car. So I had to get off the bus and I got off the bus next up and I left my lunch bag. It's really dodgy. So he's a bearded man who had a lunch box, who got off right, like who got on the bus and then got off the bus the next stop, all right? He, that's a really dodgy looking thing. It shouldn't be, obviously. Anybody, anybody leaving, um, like an un, un, what is that word? Suspect package. So he chased after the bus in hopes that he could get the lunch bag because he left it next to a little girl and he didn't want it to look dodgy. But he's saying he chased after the bus because he didn't want to leave the delicious meal that his wife made for him on the bus. He wanted to eat it. So he chased after this bus for what, a good 10 minutes, was late for work, Managed to stop right next to the bus, missed it again, stopped again, missed it again. Long story short, he went out of his way, ended up like a good 30 minute chase, and I still couldn't. A 30 minute catch chase up. for his lunchbox. And right? I gave up. I he gave still up. didn't catch up with the bus. I gave up. But I he cried. gave up. I cried, I cried, I cried a little. He was late for work, he had no lunch, and um, he looked mad suspect. And someone had my lunch. But like the common sense thing to do is just leave it. It's fine. It's just no. it's just rice and curry. It's principle. No. It's lunch. You were scared that people free. would freak out. I didn't want to pay for another lunch. <laughs> oh man. Only Amir. Only Amir would chase after a bus for 30 no. minutes. After food. While after you're late. Food. Being late for work, 30 minute chase for for his lunch. Pack lunch. Only Amr would do that. It wasn't meant to be. It stops at every single stop. This time, it didn't stop at any of the stops. It kept on going. I was like, what are the odds? But the joke is, you kept on going too. I did, man. I did. So I thought, I thought they would change my name. Oh man. Oh man. Even though they don't know who I am, you know, <laughs> I just had a lot of things going on my dad. So I'll be oh, the same. That's the funniest yeah. thing ever. But that wasn't so meant funny. to be. We are at our favorite sushi restaurant. Where are we? The Heritoris. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, now for the fun part, I'm going to be teaching you my alcohol-free tiramisu recipe. This is such a delicious cake and it's so easy to make. So the first thing I'm going to do is take six eggs and I'm going to separate the yolk from the egg white. And once I've separated it, I'm going to take the egg white and store it away for tomorrow morning because I will cook that and make a delicious egg white omelette. Once you've separated the yolk, I'm going to add some hot water to a pot and um, you don't want to fill it up all the way to the top, you want to fill it up just enough, halfway approximately. And then I'm going to take a metal plate or a bowl and I'm going to add half a cup of sugar and then add the six egg yolks into the sugar mixture. Mix that up so it's kind of creating like a paste, like a sweet yolk paste and also it's slightly cooking on top of the hot water. And you, may, you want to also make sure that the hot water is like medium heat, not really high where it's bubbling like crazy. So this is lightly cooking the eggs. Once you've blended that to perfection, you're going to want to refrigerate it for about 10 minutes just to cool it off a little. And then you're going to take it out and add the mascarpone cheese. Now a really cool trick that I do is I place this on top of a bag of peas or frozen vegetables just to cool it off as I'm blending it. And mascarpone cheese is, cheese is approximately a tub which is like a cup of cheese I think. Um, and then you want to keep that in the fridge. Then take out some cream. This is double cream. And I'm going to pour the entire tub into a bigger metal plate and whisk that into a whipped cream. This 
consistencies, but ideally the final consistency that you want is essentially literally whipped cream. Um, it gets a little solid and when you lift the blender, it kind of sticks upright like this. <laughs> All right, once you do that, you're gonna set that aside and you're gonna make the coffee. Now this is just some instant coffee that I made and I'm gonna have it cool off into a flat wide plate. Once that's done, I'm gonna take out the mascarpone and yolk mixture and I'm gonna fold it into the whipped cream. Now folding it is so important because you wanna maintain that fluffiness and you don't wanna flatten the mixture. You want it to be fluffy and delicious. Um, so when you fold it in, you're not really breaking the whip cream do you know what i mean <laughs> you're just folding it in like kind of mixing the two without flattening the texture of the whipped cream yeah i'm, I'm just gonna move on <laughs> once you do that you're all set i'm gonna get a flat met, um glass pyrex oven safe plate i don't know what this is basically yeah this is I'm sure you have this at home. Then you're gonna take these lady fingers and you're gonna to want to measure approximately how you're gonna fit it into the plate. So I realized the best way to do this is to put it in um, vertically. the entire bottom of the Pyrex with lady fingers that are dipped in coffee. You don't want to dip it in coffee for too long so you're going to spend at least two seconds on each side and place it in the bowl. That's the best way I find. Then you're going to add a layer of mascarpone whipped cream mixture and what I like to do is first put it into the center of the bowl and then I move it around so it's more neat and it's not splattered everywhere. I'm gonna take some cocoa, cocoa powder, and I'm going to use a strainer and just dust this over the entire top of the whipped cream mixture. But you can go heavy with it if you want a more stronger chocolate taste, like a more dark chocolate taste, but I'm gonna go in a little light. Add a little coconut flakes, just so it adds more of a crunch to it and it tastes so delicious. Then I'm gonna go in with a second layer of ladyfinger cookies. You're just creating like layers, all right? There's layers to this. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with another layer of the mascarpone cheese. Now, this I like to be a little heavy with because I like the top layer to be a lot more dense. And I'm just gonna add whatever's left over, literally scraping the bowl into the center and then flattening it out like a work of art. <laughs> I'm so extra. <laughs> Can you believe the nerve of John Snow trying to get up there, <laughs> I swear. All right, now I'm gonna go with a heavy hand with the cocoa, and I'm gonna dust this all over the top, and you wanna dust it until you don't see any more of the cream, all right? You wanna cover this up, and you wanna place it in your fridge. I kept this in the fridge for about five hours. You can keep it into the fridge between two to five hours, and it's ready to eat, super delicious, yummy, alcohol-free. Oh, this was the best tiramisu I have ever made. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this cooking with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my page. And also, if you're not, but you've subscribed, you have to finish it and hit that little bell notification to get notified when I upload a video. Love you guys so much. Comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Mwah! Bye!